Today, in part 7 of our 10-part series on switching from the PC to the Mac, we're going to look at the dashboard. Now the dashboard on the Mac is equivalent to the sidebar that first became available in Windows Vista, but the dashboard's been around for quite a while. Now here's a Windows Vista virtual machine, and here is the sidebar. Now the sidebar has tools that are called gadgets, and this one shows system performance. Here's a calendar, a clock, something for the stock market. And you can download new gadgets that are of interest to you from the Internet. Now on the Mac, the dashboard can be activated in a variety of ways. One is to click on the icon that's in the dock. And to remove it, you can click on the same icon. By the same token, on newer Macs, you can press... F4. Some older Macs use function F12. And it's interesting to note that in Exposé you can program which key activates dashboard. You can also determine which mouse key can activate dashboard and you can even set a hot corner. If you watch my mouse cursor, there's my dashboard. And here's my dashboard. I have a variety of things here, some things so I know when the football game starts, several news things, a calendar, my remember the milk, stock market, and so on. Now, if there's any item on here that I decide I don't want, I can change the things on my dashboard. Click down here on this X, and up comes the things for managing my widgets. There are gadgets in Windows and widgets in the Mac. So, for example, if I wanted to add a new widget, I could download widgets from the Apple website. Or here's one that I already have for Facebook. Click that. It's active. I can bring it down to where I want it to be. By the same token, you can rearrange all of the widgets on your desktop so that they're where you want them. If there's a widget that you decide you don't want, you can simply click the X and it's removed. When you want to go out of this, you can click the X. Your dashboard's still there. To get out of the dashboard, you can either press the same key that you use to activate it, press the mouse button you use to activate it, or you can click on the desktop. And that's the dashboard on the Mac, and that concludes Part 7.